Well, hey guys, what's up? Spartan 5 here. Welcome to a brand new playthrough of a game called Survival Fountain of Youth. It is not out yet. This is a playtest. Um, I signed up for it and they sent me a copy of the game. I don't. I think it's basically a demo. I don't know how long this goes. I want to say he's added a little bit more to the demo. Maybe the full game, but right now it's playtest. And I think the playtest is closed now. I don't know if you can get back in it or not. Um, I got a key through uh, a key mailer site is where I got it. But um, sometimes they release more copies on Steam. So if you guys want to check it out, throw it in your wish list on Steam. Uh, it should be out, I believe, next year, though. So it's just a survival game. And I love the intro music. Love the intro music. Really cool. So it is a survival game. It's based on the real story of Fountain of the Youth. Um, don't quote me on like all of that. I couldn't even tell you what the fountain of. I know it's a, a historic story, you know, about somebody looking for the Fountain of Youth and they have a shipwreck and all that stuff. So I'm sure somebody will get on here and tell me what it's all about. But anyway, let's jump in. We're going to go new game. Uh, skip intro tutorial. No, I don't want to do that because the intro I think is pretty cool. Uh, true survivor, one life. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let's do no because I will probably do something stupid and die. Uh, we'll keep difficulty to normal. So I want to say I have never actually played this game. This is my first time ever booting this game and loading it. I've watched a couple videos of like Game Edged and couple other people play this game but i couldn't tell you anything about this game like how to do it i know there is a little quick tutorial though that we'll do this story is inspired by real events according to historic records on march 4th 1513 three ships sailed from puerto rico they were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer juan ponce de leon the goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary fountain of youth It all began in Puerto Rico when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to Indian Chief Caibana in the war against other tribes. Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people. A legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini lies the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will get health and youth for many years ahead. Sounds pretty cool. Shady, go find also it. also gave him an ancient map covered with Indian inscriptions. The map showed an undiscovered group of islands. The location to search was clear. But inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. The captain took faith in the Indian legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors have volunteered to join this venture. Three ships, Santiago, Santa Maria, and San Cristobal, sailed off. Ponce de Leon was sure that the ancient map would lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The trip to the islands took almost a month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. The very islands from the map. The expedition was one day away from its goal. All right. Well, there's your backstory. I'm glad they did that because uh, you know me and giving backstories. They aren't very good. So, <laughs> Wake up. Get ready for morning assembly. All right. I'm trying. Let me get my coffee. Got a guy snoring over here. Um, got a map right here we'll check out. Last will and testament. In case I die at the hands of savages... Uh, or from old age, or from any other reason, before the miraculous fountain of use is found, I sign over to the Holy Church my property, namely a pair of boots, two shirts, a pair of pants, all undergarments, and the salary owed to me if the expedition is successful. Please consider Captain Ponce Dion to be the executor of my will. 
Okay, that's a, a sailor's note. Uh, anything else we can search in here? No, I guess not. So, uh, activate E. Need a flashlight. I'm used to having a mining helmet in these games. We're supposed to go to the bow of the ship, looks like it. So that's what we'll do. And I already need to tell. I can already. I need to adjust my mouse sensitivity real quick. Um, and I, I'd see. I I thought I saved this. Let me turn that down a little bit. Usually I have to do that just to make. Um, did it, now is this gonna save? Let me see. Controls. Okay, it'll save. I thought I did that already. Um, yeah. Sometimes these are controls that are so jerky, and when you try to make videos, it just gives everybody seizures and stuff. So we'll try to limit that. Another person sleeping here. Nothing else we can search, I guess. Where am I supposed to go this way? There's a door over here. Okay, not that one. Oh, we're supposed to go upstairs. Okay, here we go. Reminds me of Sea of Thieves, man. I want to play some... I, I've been wanting to play some Sea of Thieves lately. I love that game. Um, what if we can see the islands at all? No? Chop, choppy waters, looks like it. Okay, that's closed off. Alright, take the map. Here is the map, looks like it. Somebody just left it out. Go to the captain's cabin. Okay, here is the captain's cabin. Hello, El Capitan. Are you here? Uh, what is this? Activate oil lamp. Okay. Uh, I need a steel flint, apparently. Okay, what is this? Indian artifacts note. On the islands we explore, we found numerous traces of Indian culture. Of special practical interest are strange ornate flasks with unusual water inside. We found two absolute identical bottles on two different islands. Both were filled with water. Out of curiosity, I drank water from one of the bottles. It was surprisingly fresh and delicious. Within two days, all my old scars began to heal, and I started feeling years younger, stronger, and healthier. I cannot stop thinking about this water. Perhaps these flasks are somehow connected to the Fountain of Youth. What if this was the living water in the Galbana told me about? Just in case, I will leave one bottle in my chest. That's what happens when I drink Dos Equis also. Oh, all my scars go away. Uh, is that the steel flint? That's the steel flint. Uh, anything else? Okay, let's go light this oil lamp. Alright, uh, check the expedition logbook. I think it's this thing here. Um, that's a lot of reading. Uh, the crew of the Santa Maria is on strike again. This time the team did not agree with the captain's decision. We have finally reached the islands. Uh, scientists have not yet fully deciphered the Indian map. Um, today we landed on another island. There was no fountain of youth there, but we found a second unusual class with Indian symbols. Um, at night one of the expedition ships, the Santa Cristobal, was ripped off the anchor and carried away by the current. Um, we found another island. It is big enough, so Ponca gave it a name, Island of Hope. On a cursory examination from the ship, the captain noticed an interesting grotto on the island. He ordered the cartographer to sketch it and study it. Um, in the meantime, we were ordered to move away from the coast so the missing scent Cristobal could see us. Okay. Place the map on the map stand. Okay, I guess right here. We're going to sit here and look at the map, I guess. Alright, we're getting ripped apart by something. Oh! Right in the face. Alright, take the grotto plan from the something. Is that the grotto plan? Okay. Grotto location map. Looks easy enough. There's a rock up there, looks like it. Alright. 
Uh, get items from the chest. Where's the chest at? Over here. Okay, and I only have... I can only take two items. So we have bag of provisions, uh, navy coat, leather backpack, um, pistol with ammo, iron knife, living water. That's the living water. I'm going to take the backpack. I feel like I need to take that because it gives you inventory slots plus 11. So we're going to want that. And should I take the water? It gives you recovery and health. Uh, contains supplies to sustain life for a few days. Uh, maybe I should take the spear? I don't know. I kind of feel like I should take these uh, bag of revisions. I tell you what, let's take the, uh, let's take the spear. I feel like I'm going to need something. Okay. And, uh, we got to jump out the window, I guess, because this fire, there's nothing else to do. So let's jump out the window. Uh, I need to make sure I took the right items from the chest. Oh my God. What should I do? I think the backpack is really needed. And this thing, I mean, look at this thing. It's got a lot of damage. Um, bag of provisions. Uh, let's just, let's go. Let's take the spear. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I made the right choice or not. I really, really don't. Strong winds and giant waves appeared in a split second and slammed the ship. The sails broke apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. The sailors jumped out of their beds and tried to save the ship, but it was too late. I woke up on a sandy shore. I could not remember how I ended up on this beach. But I was alive and full of hope that my friends were somewhere nearby. All right, waking up. I hope I didn't need that bag of provisions, man. I really hope I didn't need it. Okay, so we uh, we do have the spear. Uh, find a green coconut. Okay, cool. If I had that, uh. Now, how do I load everything? This is crafting. Oh, that, so C opens the inventory. So there's the bag. If we didn't bring this bag, I don't think we would have had all these open slots. I think that's kind of why we wanted to bring it. So, um, because there's, yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's one of the things I gained from the video. So here's the green coconut. Put that in inventory. Uh, craft coconut water, okay? So we'll go here. Coconut water. Craft is spacebar. Okay, there we go. And we should have it. There's coconut water there. So we want to drink coconut water, I guess, now. <laughs> uh, let's drink that. So spacebar to eat it. Now we got to satisfy our raised food value by 50%. Okay, what should we do? Um, so uh, satisfying hunger, I think I can get ripe coconuts from palm trees. Uh, mollusk shells may be found on the beach and fruit trees grow in the jungle. I need to satisfy the hunger at least halfway. Okay, so there's shells down by the beach. Let's see if we can find some. Well, there's something there. There's a crab. Can I kill the crab? Oh, I missed. Oh, he's running away, too. Where'd he go? Got him! Alright, we're eating now. I guess I probably gotta cook him up, though, don't I? Uh, raw crab? Let's see. I guess I can eat it. Uh, indigestion chance forty percent, so we probably want to cook him somehow. We'll just we'll save that. There's another one right here. Okay, so we got crab. What is this? Is that a shell? 
That's a conch shell. What do we do with this? Uh, not much. Okay. Uh-oh. I just threw my tree into this... I was thinking I could use the spear to knock these down, and I threw my spear up into the tree. I think I just lost my spear. Either that or it went up here. One of the two. Let me see if it's up here. That was stupid. <laughs> well, I guess I lost my spear, guys, because I'm a freaking idiot. I threw that up in the air thinking I was trying to hit... Oh, wait, is it up here, maybe? Oh, I see it. No, I don't. Uh, let me see here. I want to find my spear, damn it. Okay, so we can harvest coconut palm, looks like it, just by going up to the tree. Um, select resources to gather. Yeah, I want to gather all this. So we need a cutter, apparently. Okay. Um, man, I'm. This game is really confusing me. So you can cut it down with an axe. I don't have an axe. Um. Harvest. There is the stone cutter, and we need a uh, sharpened st stone shard can be used. So we need a stone. We need, just need a stone. Okay. We just walk around and find a stone, I guess. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so I did I did finally figure out if you just click on coconut, go to blueprints, go to food, and then you can craft a coconut. So that's what you do. So we should have a coconut to eat now. Okay, so that ra that should raise my food to 50%. It, I guess it did not. Okay, so I need to find some more coconuts. I'm going to work on that. I need to find a stone somewhere, too, I guess, apparently. Um, where the hell they are. There's a stone. We found a stone. All right. So we'll go to crafting, and we will go... Uh, let's go to inventory. Click on the stone. Go to blueprints. And uh, looks like we have a stone axe and a stone cutter. Let's craft a stone cutter. At least we have a knife now. I, I mean, I threw my freaking... Oh, that makes me mad. Okay, we're gonna, now that we have that, we can harvest the coconuts out of here. And then we will go to inventory. And let's do the ripe coconuts. All right, we got our food up to 50% finally. So we got to gather narrow leaves now. So if we go to journal, um, gather narrow leaves. Probably narrow leaves are suitable for a bed of leaves. I will try to get them straight from the tree. A small palm tree is suitable for this. So here's a small palm tree over here. Oh, wait, is this a small palm tree, I guess? So we go to, um, yep, there is the narrow leaves and there are the yellow leaves. Let's just gather them all. We're probably going to need them all. Okay, build a primitive bed of leaves. There's the primitive bed of leaves. It's under buildings right there, so we'll uh, we'll place it down. I guess we'll just kind of hang out here, I guess. This is kind of where we started. Um, we'll just do it here. It looks like we need... Uh, Placed four or five, we need one more leaf, looks like it. What is this, a yellow leaf there? Okay, we harvested some more leaves. Let's walk over here. For some reason, my guy is walking extremely slow. There we go. I don't know what the deal was. All right, it takes an hour to build. There is our bed. We have a bed of leaves now. Okay, sleep for six hours or more. So that's gonna that's like the end of that little tutorial thing. I kind of want to walk around and 
I just want to explore just a little bit. There's another, there's a green coconut. Just explore for a minute. Looks like we got to find their survivors too. That's popping up. Uh, you can drink salt water. I'm guessing you don't want to do that. There's some fish down there too. It's actually getting pretty dark all of a sudden too. And I don't know what comes out at night. I have no idea. What is this up here? What kind of plant is this? It's tobacco. Hey, all right. Yeah, let's get some tobacco. Some wacky tobacco. Oh, it's very dark now. Okay. That took me an hour to harvest. Okay, so you can do natural recover. Diseases are getting cured and energy restores quicker. This status turns on when food and water are more than 60%. So I can't do... I can't do anything. Wow. All right. Um, so I need health will restore during sleep. You need obstacle stomach ache. And so, yeah, I need to eat some more food, basically, if I want to get those healthy sleeps. All right. So we want to build a signal fire now, apparently. Did the bed disappear? Oh, there, there it is right there. Okay. And I need to eat some more food, too. So I picked up these cronch shells when I went to Blueprints. You can actually make food out of these. So not sure what I was thinking not doing that. So we do have some food now. So we will keep picking up these cronch shells. I guess cronch shells or cronch shells. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. Okay, so signal fire. Let's see what we got to do for that. So we need a fire starter, I'm guessing. Let me just check the journal real quick, see what it says. Uh, I need to create a signal fire in case a ship is sailing past the island. People on board will be able to notice. Okay, I can build and light up a signal fire using yellow leaves. I saw several of those on the beach where I woke up on the shipwreck. Okay, so we'll grab some yellow leaves. And I guess we need to probably make um, a fire starter of some sort. See, there's a campfire there. You just need sticks for that. But you're going to need a fire starter, I'm assuming. Yeah, you need two sticks and five leaves. Okay, well, let's. we actually have all that. So let's uh, let's place it down. Closer to the beach, the better, probably. Right there. So it's kind of like any other survival game. You place it down, and then you got to add the resources, I guess. So um, we'll build it. Okay, so you don't need a fire starter. Okay. That's interesting. So I can build a campfire then, I guess? Well, I guess we'll build a uh, campfire too, so we can cook up some of this crab. And I say I need to. I mean, let's go to blueprints here. Can we just make some food? Roasted crab. You need a campfire and yeah, so you need a campfire. So let's let's build a campfire then. You need uh five sticks. So we'll go find some sticks real quick. And I think they're just kind of laying around everywhere. I don't know if you can harvest those from what is that? It looks like a baseball bat. Grabbed a mushroom tender, whatever the heck that is. Um, looking for sticks. Where are all the sticks at? I don't know. I thought I was going to come up to this tree and, like, grab some from there, but... Maybe I won't be making a campfire right now. <laughs> I can't find any sticks. I mean, you would think they would just be laying on the ground in the forest up here, you know? Just kind of... I mean, I don't know. Uh, oh, there's some sticks there. Okay. So we can get tree bark and sticks. I just want some sticks. There we go. Okay, that should be enough sticks to build our campfire now. 
I kind of like that. That shows you where your base is. That little uh, signal flare right there. So at least you kind of know where to go. Which I'm assuming there's a... Is there... Start the mapping process to find resources. Um, you need a mapping range. Wow. So you have to... You have to build the map. Okay. That's, that's interesting. That crab is not going to let me get get close. I mean, I wish I had my spear now. <laughs> oh, man, that makes me so mad. I'm assuming I can build one. I mean, surely you can build one, right? Okay, so you have to have a fire starter to light this fire. You don't need it with the signal flare, but you need it with this this thing here so uh there is where's the fire starter even at i saw it there it is you need two sticks and i have one of course i gotta go find more sticks now oh, i just hurt myself i guess i walked into this <laughs> whatever this bush is i just walked into oh that was an idiot <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna live very long in this in this uh, island. I think I'll drink the fountain of youth and probably just die. Probably. All right, let's let's get this thing. We have to uh, we have to do the fire starter, which is right. Oh, that's the wooden club. Hey, we need that. Let's do the fire starter. Here it is. We're gonna ignite the fire. Cool. And then we're gonna make some crab. All right, cool. I need to eat some more food, so I did pick up some dates. We have this uh, crunch shell. Uh, we can eat the roasted crab. That's all we have. We also have these dates, which um, let's go to blueprints and you can make dried dates. Okay. What do you need? You know, oh, you need food dehydration, so you can just eat these. Though looks like it. Okay, well, we need to find the pictured grotto now. It says, um, find the pictured grotto. Finding a shelter for the night will be a good start. I took a sketch from the ship, and there is a suitable grotto here. So maybe I shouldn't have built all this stuff, I guess. Um, but I needed to cook that. So um, I think, how long my video? It's gone for about 35 minutes. I'll probably edit this down to about 25 minutes. So I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. The next episode, we'll go find the pictured grotto i think so and we'll try all that but this is fun i like this i'm trying to figure it out it's getting a little easier as i play and uh let me hit escape so add to your wish list uh this is what i was talking about so add the full version of the game to your wish list and follow so you won't miss the release date and important development so there it is right there add it to your wish list guys check it out uh i am by no means asked to pimp this game out at all i just it's a new survival game i wanted to check it out so cool premise i like the story and all that so all right guys i will catch you guys we'll do episode two here probably next week sometime and i'll catch you guys later bye